Lantern has advanced. Indeed it has. And, and Warlight has uplo- updated. Yep. So <laughs> now we have this awesome little orange turn five thing over here. Oh, yeah, nice. It's amazing, nice. isn't it? Look at it. Yep. Unfortunately, my name is cut off above that, and your name is non existent. Yeah, I do not have a name. Don't worry. <laughs> it's just Ravina and then sort of reverse myth. Well, everybody calls you myth, so that's fine. But my three ellipses, my ellipses right there, ellipses are just going to <laughs> win the game for us. But anyways, we can watch the turn now. Watching. We sure can. Okay, he put everything in Moscow. Okay, let's see if I can get first move into you. That'll be a big help. Nope. Oh, he nearly kills me. <sighs> and then there's unknown soldier in South Africa. So it appears I get last move. Thank you, yep. game. Appreciate that. All right. At least I got first move last time when it really counted, I guess. Yeah. I can't complain too much about that. But I can complain about losing all three of my threes. Yeah, I know. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Well, this turn, I think that we... We can be glad that South America, for some reason, was not countered, but I was pretty countered pretty well. Yeah, yeah, that was really the biggest risk about making that attack in South Africa. Because other than that, he might have thought you were in Central America. Which was uh, better true. for us. Yeah, true. Oh, well, that's not how it worked out. And no. he got first move in Ufa, which means we, or he, kept more alive. Yeah. Ugh. So that turn did not go well for us. Except you got South America, so... Oh, yeah. whoop de freaking do. And <laughs> no one in Southeast Asia, so I know Soldier... Is probably in East China or possibly East Indonesia. East China or, or Indonesia, yeah. He's definitely, or pretty definitely, not in North Africa. <laughs> yeah, and I think East China is more likely since Indonesia is that three-turn take. Yeah, East China definitely. So, it's also in general just a nicer pick on the board, in my opinion, honestly. Yeah, true. Uh, so I can, I'm thinking I should go to Nigeria to get closer to East Africa now that we know that he's there. And I should go to Tibet, obviously. I like it, yeah. That would let you end up countering if you could find out if he is indeed in East China or not. And then you can go to Shanzi to get triple border. Oh, yeah. And yeah, then... yeah, I don't, I think what I'll do, what I'm planning on doing, what I think mm-hmm. would be really cool is, uh going to Shanzi and putting everything in Nigeria to hit Chad. Yeah. And then uh, at the same time, the next turn, I could try putting everything in Shanzi, nothing in Chad, moving to Congo, and then breaking East China. That's what I think would be fun. Okay. I like that idea. Or Libya. Yeah. Libya or, Con- well, Congo would be better. Yeah. Yeah, one of the two. Congo would be better because it would also threaten South Africa, which if he guesses right, of course you should blockade in South Pole. If he guesses right about yeah. what you'll do down there, then he won't even hit no- Novo with very much. So he could easily expand in South Africa, and that's why Congo, and he will expand in South Africa anyway. So yeah. I should definitely, yeah, Congo better. Congo equal more awesome. Yes, yes, yes. All right. I guess I'm just defending mm-hmm. Ufa with everything again. <laughs> yeah, you're making your first move to South Pole, correct? Yep. And then second move from Scott to South Pole. And then blockade South Pole. Blockade! Hopefully my two from Novo get there, otherwise it's going to be a small blockade. That would be lame. All right. Now, other than that, I guess... You should hit with hit with three in either Vorkuta or Archangels to get so that, because we're two pieces away from a reinforcement card. Oh yeah, we do need to get a card piece. We need that card. Should I hit with three or four? Eh. Uh, do you think that the chance? It, it's really an example of pot odds. Uh, using one more unit. Uh. I guess it doesn't really matter because it would change the chance that we get a card. Uh, 
Hmm. To uh, a, a card is would be twenty percent. There's there would be an eighty percent chance that we'd get a card. Yes. Eighty. The way you do pot odds, you multiply the size of the pot, which in this case would just be the five reinforcements times the chance that you'll get it. Eighty percent. So you'd have it's basically four armies. Uh, and at the same time, if you place one more army in Ufa and hit with four armies in Vorkuta, then it's the uh, that's one less guy in Ufa, which is the whole point of getting the card. So it would work out. Although, actually... It seems to be a pot of four either way. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's my point. But, uh... It might actually still be better to do it with four, thinking about it, because Rabina knows he can't take you now, if uh, assuming that you don't uh, defend Novo. And I. Okay, well, if I attack honestly... with four, and if he like if he attacks me last move, if he puts eight down, hits me with seventeen last move or something, or some I don't know how he would have that much delay though, but. If he did somehow, then he would have a twenty-six percent chance of killing me if I attack with four and have eleven left. He can't have that much delay. You would have to add more guys for movement. So okay, so should I still attack with four? That will guarantee. That will give us a net gain of four. That will give us a card guaranteed. Yeah, and I can send the leftovers back next turn as well. Exactly. That's why I was thinking it doesn't really matter because he won't attack you this turn anyway. So. Yeah, most likely. He Hopefully. knows. Well, he knows I can give you guys, so it's like uh, very. And he knows he can't eliminate you this turn unless you do something like risk yourself. Uh, so unless he predicts that you'll risk yourself, which is, I guess, a uh, it would be a a very good prediction in this case. I don't. I don't know. Uh, then, but even then, he couldn't add enough delay, could he? Unless he put two guys down. Yeah. And uh, tried moving them around, and that would be two less guys attacking for Moscow, so it would only be 16, or no, 15 attacking. No, it would be 16. 16. Yeah. So 16 would only kill 10, and that's not enough. And I don't... Yeah, I don't think he'd do that, because... It it just seems way too dangerous. If he didn't do that, if he, if we got a first move in, if I got a first move in from Dudinka or Omsk with guys, and you attacked last move to Moscow, then there's a very good chance, basically a 50% chance, that he could just lose everything and get taken in Moscow, and that would basically be game over because you'd have a huge stack in Moscow. He couldn't really defend you well at all. Do you want to try that? And do you do you think it's likely he'll attack? That's why I was thinking I don't think he'll attack you at all. And Ufa. yeah, good point. He probably won't because that just seems so dangerous. There's no way in heck he'd do it. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah. Other than that, I'd, I'd be like, yeah. yeah. If he didn't know I was in Central Russia, then I'd say, hey, yeah, that's a good move. <laughs> uh, but he knows I'm there, so takes away the opportunity really yeah like we had tried to do before yeah <laughs> yeah uh it would have been nice yeah oh uh, well all right yep. uh i guess i've just got my four attacking nigeria and 10 attacking tibet uh, okay and you are just taking Borkuda with four yep and blockading the south pole and that's it yeah, I, th I think it's most likely he'll go to Archangelsk by far. Okay. Personally. <laughs> that may just be me. He might actually <laughs> not. Or he yeah. might just attack it with basically nothing, like three or four guys like we're doing. Because they should be on the same level with cards. Yeah, yeah. We're both two card pieces behind or two card pieces away. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Okay. Well, uh, we can commit, I guess. Yeah, sure. Let's go for it. Hopefully, uh, Unknown Soldier doesn't hit Nigeria, because if he <laughs> if he happened to get East China and East Africa, then he could have... He only hit 
South Pole with 10. Yeah, so you're right. He could have hit Chad last time. And if he hits Nigeria... Well, it's too late to worry about that. Let's just play through, I guess. Yep. I mean, he puts 8 in South Pole. Ooh, that's not a good sign. Yep. Oh, gets you, dang it. Lucky guy got first move again. Uh, is he in Hong Kong? Yes. Okay. Oh, and he did hit you in Ufa. Oh, and I get maximum losses. Eh, and, oh, at least you took four Kuda. Okay. The good news is that... Uh, Oh, no, no, I didn't mean to play the ring. The good news card. is that he didn't take Nigeria. That's about the only good news. Uh, and we got a card piece, got a card, and they did not. Yeah. Uh, I think. Yeah, he deployed eight. Okay. He deployed eight, so he used the other guys to take... What other guys? He didn't deploy everything. No, I was talking about Rubina. Oh, but no oh. Soldier... What, is he expanding? And... Oh, he probably put took another territory in south africa he probably took botswana so we can finish the entire bonus this turn ah uh, yeah that's what he did yeah although he's gonna be putting guys in hong kong so he probably won't finish it ah <sighs> i'm not happy that he happened to get first move in again really we had to do that you needed those guys in russia uh oh, brother all right mm. well the good news is they don't have a card and we do so I'm surprised Rabina did much. attack you. I can't believe they'd take that risk. Honestly. I mean, can you? <laughs> yes. That's... Uh, what? In other words, that means we should have done that. Yep. Which is absolutely hilarious. Meh. <laughs> This game has been pretty what the heck the entire time <laughs> with him in Greenland for some reason. It, I cannot believe this is working out, though, this way. Oh, well. Yeah, it happens to everyone. Okay, so oh, brother. Uh, if, I put, if I use the card, put 10 in Ufa, first move back, I'll have 12, assuming I get first move. Which I can survive with. Look, I'm thinking of changing. I want to give you stuff in Ufa this turn. I'm. I don't under. I just. I want to punish Rubina for doing that, honestly, because I feel like that would be a really dumb move in general. So I'm not sure why the heck Rubina did that. Honestly, it just doesn't make sense to me. It's like you know I'm in Central Russia. You know I can first move give you give my teammate guys in Ufa. Why on earth would you risk doing that? <laughs> It just doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's like, I, I really, I want you to try putting guys in Ufa, and then me first moving to Ufa, and then you hitting last move. It's like, I want to try that now, really. Especially yeah. since he'll be getting a card this turn, and I can hit Chad with six or something. Yeah, yeah, that actually would be fine because from the looks of it, uh, in South Africa, Unknown Soldier is going to yeah. need to put more guys to take the rest of it. He's going to need to use yeah. basically all his... Well, he, he can. He's going to be defending Hong Kong. Yeah. He'll huh. probably take one territory and then defend or something. Well, even then, that would be risky. <laughs> he might not... Maybe he's going to assume you're going to Sean Z. <laughs> well, then I guess I would hit Hong Kong with something then. <laughs> In that case. Maybe. I don't know. See, Split up your force. Hit Shanzi with four, Hong Kong with two? Hong Kong, I should hit with three. Okay. Definitely three, because at the very least, if he would predict, I'd hit with two. There's yeah. no way in heck you wouldn't predict that. I, I don't think anyway, or at least you know expect. Well, if he if he yeah. normally if I was going to hit Shanzi, it would make sense for me to attack Hong Kong with two. As well, just maybe he won't defend it, so it's worth two guys. <laughs> yeah. Mhm. Mm 
So what I'm thinking might be better than that is uh, like me first moving you transfer only. That should be transfer only. Yes, transfer only. Uh, with nine guys to Ufa. And of course uh, you make it first move to move back to Ufa. Yeah. And he, was it first move when he did that? Yes. When he hit you? Yes, it was. Yeah, it was. It was first move. All right. I just, I don't understand that, honestly. I don't. It doesn't make sense to me. So I guess I could give you nine guys to Ufa. Okay. And you're going to place all ten over there. First yep. move back with your one. Yep. And then what... He'll be hitting you with 15, won't he? Yes. 15. So you hit him last move with everything. <laughs> I only have two moves. Yeah, but he'll be hitting first move if he's going to hit. Okay. Because he wouldn't want me giving you guys. <laughs> True. If he's going to hit, he'd hit first move. Okay. Well, hopefully this works out this time. Okay. <sighs> All right. Well, what I was thinking about doing other than that was hitting Chad with four. Okay. I'm honestly not sure that, well, that probably maybe, might be, could be, possibly be enough. Who knows? It depends on what, uh... Well, Undertaker's not going to take Chad this turn. He's either going to finish South Pol South Africa, or he's going to defend, and or he could try defending Hong Kong. Well, where do they think my other bonuses? Of course they think it's in South America. Yeah, but he, right now he's got most of South Africa done. If he was going to take Chad, he should have done it last turn before he had taken Botswana. That's true. That's true. That does make more sense. Uh, so I guess what I'll do other than that, I will hit Chad with four. Then mm -hmm. I guess I'll hit... I will hit... Shanzi with four, and Hong Kong with three. Okay. And you're able to give me nine after that? Yep, I was going to give you nine to Ufa, and unfortunately he's probably going to break, break through the blockade in South Pole. At one, maybe Possibly. not this turn. Well, yeah, he'd have to put guys down. Yeah, they don't have a card. Actually, how much owned, unknown soldier can put down? 13 in Hong Kong. 14. 14, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, oh, no, 13. 13. Okay. 13 in Hong Kong. Uh, 13, if I placed all 13 down, the most I could hit him with, how much did I have in Tibet? Seven. Seven? Six, they so could attack. The, so you could attack with 19. 19. 19. 19 wouldn't kill him, but it would definitely knock his stack down a lot. If I took the card, I could definitely take him. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I don't understand this. I really don't understand Rabina attacking. I really don't. It it just seems so weird. It's like, you know I'm there. You know Central Russia is there. Yeah. You honestly expect that I would just... <sighs> Man. I, I guess it, it's just a gamble. Uh, they were willing to bet that I wouldn't give you a ton of guys. <laughs> it just yeah. seems so very risky. It worked the out this turn. On this that. time, yeah. oh well. All right, we made the wrong call. Yeah, not yeah. them. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It just, man. All right. Uh, well, you can look at my moves. Okay, I'll come there as well then. Mine are extremely simple though. <laughs> yep. Okay. Okay, okay. That looks good. Hopefully it works out. Okay. Right. <laughs> okay, we will see what happens when turn advances. Indeed. And turn has advanced. Indeed. Let's watch. Watching. Oh, he placed everything in Hong Kong. Is he going to go to Shanzi? And, and let's see. We know everything in Moscow. I get transfer in. Oh. You get transfer in. Oh. oh, and he loses everything. That is perfect. 
Oh man. Oh perfect. Oh he's man. Him. He's not gonna take Chad. And I went to J- Shanzi. Uh, my guys were sacrificed into Hong Kong. Oh well. Did they kill two at least? They did. They did kill two. Oh my god. Wow. That turn. Oh man. That went like. Rubina. Yeah, that went perfectly. We we definitely punished Rubina. You have order delay and gift still. That's what you get for making risky decisions. Very risky. I told you that was very risky. <laughs> I, I said that. It was very, very risky. You should have known that how risky that was. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> uh, I know neither of them got car pieces that turn. Yeah, neither of them. They still don't have a reinforcement card. Yep. Excellent. Unknown soldier will have moved back to South Africa with a stack, though. So. Yeah, he, this turn he's definitely going to. Although... Oh, yeah, oh, I think we said oh. earlier that we think he took Botswana that one turn. I don't think he did. I think that he failed at a three attack in Egypt or something. Uh, with how much he hit you down there? or hit? Well, uh, well he only South hit South Africa, Africa with, with, I think it was nine. Or ten. Ten, which if he had yeah. 13 income, there's no reason at all for him to do that. Yeah, he should have used all of it. You're right. Yeah. Uh, so I think that he had captured Kenya, had mm. one left over, put nine down, and then attacked with ten. Yeah, I'd say that makes more sense. And he just fell at a three attack in Egypt and finished it off that turn. That does seem to make more sense. You're right. I, I Yeah, I agree. He probably doesn't have Botswana. So, yeah, then with that... So he can't even go for South Africa. Yeah, we we well... The next turn, we saw him put eight in South Africa. So there's still five guys unaccounted for that turn. Oh, yeah, yeah. Forgot about that. So that turn, he probably did take Botswana. But it wasn't the previous turn. Although I'm still not sure why he would take it with five. Yeah. Wait. Hmm. And then, hmm. huh? So even with five, I guess if he only lost one, he could have attacked with three. So he, it's technically possible that he could have a card, have gotten a card piece. Yeah, it's possible. Hmm. Eh. In which case, they do have a reinforcement card. <laughs> yeah, he could in that case. Uh, but there's a 40% chance that he definitely couldn't make the attack without placing more guys. And, yeah. uh, and if, if that was a situation, he would put one guy there. So basically, 60% times 80% is the uh, possibility that he could take another territory. Yeah. So that would be just a little less than 50%. 48, yeah. 48%, yeah. Okay, so... Hmm. Either way, I don't think it'll change our moves much for this turn. Well, it just means I'm not going to attack Finland. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I guess instead I can go for West Russia and see if I can sneak that out with him defending. But your biggest goal is just to hold Moscow in general, I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as long as I can hold Moscow, then... Then hopefully you can put the hurt on him, then soldier. Yeah. Oh yeah. I think I got something. We do have order delay, yeah. by the way, if we need it. All right. What I'm thinking about is, uh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely. I'd like to use that order delay. What I'm thinking about doing is, uh. Oh, mm-hmm. come on. Come on. Go to attack. Attacking Jiang Z with my stuff in uh in Shanzi first move then yeah. uh going to I guess Congo uh uh from in Africa and then using the order delay and hitting Hong Kong because we know they don't have an order delay definitely because not. they're behind us uh and using the order delay and hitting Hong Kong with nine <laughs> nice that's yeah. what I'm thinking about. I like it I like it yeah Go with that. 
All right. I think that's the best move we can do at this in this situation. The only thing I'm worried about is Congo versus Libya because he could very easily expect a move to Congo. Because... Okay, if he's yeah, if he's taking South Africa, then from what I can expect, he should give up East China and defend Congo with everything. First move, that's what he should do. He could, he, yeah, he could try and do that, but it, it, that would also risk Sudan. Yeah, I mean, he uh, could put a couple in Sudan, but I think Congo is more important. I would agree. Basically, Congo seems like such an obvious move for me that I don't really want to do it. Yeah, uh, it, it's extremely risky, unless you're going to commit everything to it, first move or something. Yeah. Uh, I just, I think Libya might be better, especially since he can still attack Chad. And we, what, what, what do we have here? Libya would still give you a double board on it, so that would work quite well, I think. Yeah, yeah. and you know, we're going to get an order priority card next turn. Oh, that's going to work very well. Yeah, yeah, I'd say it will. That seems like <laughs> a pretty nice little, yeah, order <laughs> priority card. I can make use of that. And, oh, yes, oh, yes. Next turn, I can, depending on what he does from Sudan, I could try and order priority even into Sudan. Uh, True. And that might be fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Or okay. I might use it in Hong Kong. Who knows? We'll see. Yeah, maybe. Okay, well, I'm going to commit with my moves. I'm just taking West Russia, leaving as many guys in Moscow as I can. All right. Assuming he doesn't attack me with like 10 or something, I should be fine. So what are you doing exactly? Like a, like a transfer from Ufo to Moscow? Yeah. And hit Archangel Skin Murmansk? Uh-huh. With fours exactly. or threes? Uh-huh. I've got fours. Yeah. I'm, yeah, yeah, I guess that makes sense because it's most likely if he's going to hit you at all, it... Huh. Well, he could, if especially if they have the card, he could, uh, there's about a 50-50 chance they do. Uh, if he has a card, then he could just lay down uh, all of all 13 in Finland. and then, Or, yeah. no, he could lay down 11 in Finland, then delay moves from Sweden and Norway, and then hit you uh, in Moscow last move. Well, if he attacks but, with 13... But you see, there's a good chance yeah, then that yeah. he'll still hit you with a with a really good stack in Moscow, so you should be fine. Well, if he attacks, if he's got enough delay, then obviously he could end up killing me. If he I... can't have enough delay, unless he uh, unless he tries and one, two, three. You can have three moves. He could if have, he gets yeah, three he moves three. and ends up, then he can technically kill me. If he gets three moves, and that third move is after my third move, then he can. Ah. Uh, now, if he does four moves or something, then he's gotcha. Then, no. If he does four moves, then he won't have enough. Oh. Well, he will have a forty-one percent chance instead of a ninety percent chance. All right, then. So I suppose he still could, technically. Hmm. Do you want to try with threes, then? Or... Would he delay, though? I mean... I don't know, man. Uh... Personally, I wouldn't even attack. Yeah, I, 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 that's exactly what Unknown Soldier, Unknown Soldier did, too. I he mean, just if I was going to do stack. anything with attacking, it would be Murmansk. Yeah, exactly. It you want to defend Murmansk, because that's the double border on your territory. Exactly. He should put everything there, and instead of attacking Moscow, attack Murmansk. If he was going to attack at all. Yes. Sitting in Finland still seems like a decent idea, honestly. Yes. Because there's that risk of me attacking him, and if he takes a look at the uh, analyzed attack, even if I attack him with everything, and even if he does not have the card, 
he still ends up ahead. Yeah, well, in terms of uh, kills and losses, yeah. yeah. To what you can replenish. Uh-huh. So that would be preferable for him, so that's what he should do, I think. Now, in this specific, unless he predicts that I'm going to go to Ma- Ma- Mermance, which he might, he would but kill... I'm not sure. Yeah, and he would kill six. Yeah, yeah, I see. Uh, yeah, it, it, yeah, I don't, if he attacked Moscow, that would be an impressive move, that's for sure. And I'd have to send you stuff to Ufa again. <laughs> <laughs> and that wouldn't be good, because now I'm fighting a known soldier. I hope that won't happen, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we'll see how that works out. Have you committed yet? Yep, you can go ahead and take a look. Okay. Yep. Har, har, har. Looks good, looks good. Okay. Har, har. Uh, about as good as we can get. Hopefully they work out. <laughs> Indeed. Hope yeah. so. We'll see what happens when Terror advances. Indeed.